I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Christmas is all about. Prince on his throne. Fitzy, are you ready? Guys, he literally will not let me take the sweater off of him. Like, he is a massive dog walking around in a Christmas sweater. And he, he just loves it. Don't you love it, Fitz? Don't you just love it, Fitz? Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Um, I am about to head off to get my hair done. I'm going blonder. My sister said she's putting extensions in my hair. I don't really want extensions in my hair, but... Like, she does my hair, so I don't really think I get a say in that. Um, anyways, I'm just wearing this set from Revolve. This coat is H&M Guy. I've talked about this coat before, but it was only... Well, I got it for 55 I think it's originally like 80 but they always have sales. And this coat looks just like one that was like $350 that I had been looking at for the longest time. So definitely one of my best buys of 2020. I'm just like such an outerwear girl. I love sweaters, outerwear, boots, you know. Then I'm wearing my Sam Elliman boots that I'm obsessed with. I'll also, how you fit? I'll also have these linked below. But um, they're really cute and stylish. And now I'm not just wearing Uggs every day. And it looks like I actually like have cute clothes, you know? So we're about to head off. I'm grabbing my stuff to go to the salon. Gonna stop at Starbucks first for my sister. Oh my God, guys. I got a package this morning. I took the dogs out. And then I had this package in my front door. And I opened it. And look at it, guys. Like, are you joking? I mean, guys, have a holly dolly Christmas. You've actually got to be kidding me. This is from Black Hanger Boutique. <laughs> I have to show Dom. Fitz, ready? Great. Great, boy. Great. Look. Can I take your laptop turn to this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you. <gasps> You're wearing sweats. Is that so oh my gosh. It's Dom's first pair of sweatpants. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Okay, wait, close your eyes. Ready? Oh my god! No! Wait, that's so cute! I know! Wait, Kenzie! This is what I'm gonna take a Christmas picture in it with the dogs in front of my tree. Did you order this? No, it's from Shop. It's Black Hanger Boutique. They just sent it to me. I know. Oh my god! They sent me stuff a while ago, so that's how they have my address, but like I'm actually crying at this. Wait, that's so cute. Yeah, so thank you so much. Um, I am so obsessed. I'm also really excited for my hair to not look like this anymore. Not we need to bring back Red Wedding Housewife, like more. Yeah, that's what you are. <laughs> I feel like my outfit really yeah. encompasses it. I have a call today with them. If I were to come out with Red Wedding Housewife, something really cool and cute and cozy, would you buy it? Yes. Thank you, Dom. Taking would... you off the gifting list. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would, Kenzie. I would. Um, hey, hey. Dude, what's... Oh, bro. I saw this TikTok that apparently, like, the government, you know, one of those conspiracy TikToks, but it was about, like, sleep. And it was explaining how, like, to keep, like, mattress companies and, like, all these sleep companies, like, melatonin, like, all that, to, like, keep those people in business. They, like, tricked us and told us that we're supposed to sleep for eight hours straight when in reality we're actually supposed to sleep four hours after so we wake up in the beginning of our day do our little task then sleep for four hours so post you doing my morning routine yeah and then you do you wake up do your little task again and then you go to bed for like four hours that just doesn't seem productive well uh, so i looked into it and i guess that's what farmers used to do Oh, well, yeah, I guess when you're doing that amount of labor, too. Yeah. I you mean, were just walking up the stairs. No, I do mental labor. <laughs> Guys, the we are still talking. It's been days, and we're still talking about the morning routine because we think it's so funny. It is. Guys, Dom is leaving me, and it's heartbreaking because just yesterday she was talking about just, like, staying here longer. And then I literally woke up to the nightmare that she had said to me last night. And I literally am going to be so heartbroken. And no one's even going to like my vlogs anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but most mainly I'm heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a part of me. 
there is a selfish part of me. <laughs> no, but also I'm so sad. What am I supposed uh, dude, to do? Dude, what am I supposed to At do? At least I'll like go see my family, I guess. Yeah, you'll go see your family. When's your family like doing their thing? Next weekend. Maybe I'll be back in time. Really? Yeah. Well, I was just gonna break it to my parents and be like, listen, this <laughs> thing is really taking off. <laughs> I need to be back. Well, it is true. It is, it is. And also, everything every, <laughs> it, it is. We, like, don't believe in ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. It is. <laughs> no, but it really is dumb. And also, just, like, yeah. Yeah, no, like, I need to be back. Like, let's not get shit twisted at all. Should I teach Dom how to be a breadwinning housewife in a vlog? What does that entail? I feel like that's just doing your morning routine again. <laughs> <laughs> no. You have your home organized and cute and perfect yeah, and then you yeah. also are a boss yes wow you know you are a breadwinning housewife thank you minus the wife part um i watched jessica Soxhill's video announcing her pregnancy yesterday and like i cried all i want is to be married and pregnant at this point which i didn't even want kids until i was 30 before and here i am damn i don't know what it is in the past like few weeks i'm like when i have a kid that will be the happiest time of my life like i already know it okay ask her how i redeem this I'm gonna elope, Dom. Hi, Hi, how are you? Turn right on the street. Why am I saying more? <laughs> yeah, what? It's monster? <laughs> Literally a monster. I hate when people say that pretentious stuff. Like, what does that even mean? Like, yeah. I don't know where that is. When people say that pretentious stuff, I'm like, enough with you and your cardinal directions. <laughs> you think you're better than everyone, north, south, east, west. Get out of here. You think you're better than everyone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, on a <literally>. city folk. <laughs> <laughs> think us better than us. I can't even think of a compass. Like, let me pull up my compass. <laughs> no, same. No, Dad, when people are like, do you know what's south of here? I literally look at them. <laughs> like, I'm like. Right now we're going northwest. That's the only reason I know. Oh, it's because of my BMW <laughs> telling me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, one second, let me turn on my map. <laughs> Look, and then there's the Christmas tree and all the lights. We should go. I'll text Liz. The crim crim tree, oh, crim crim tree. You can't see it. Because it's okay. cute. Look, what just came on? Jesse McCartney still makes music. Did you know that? No, I had no clue. I wonder if he's single. You should sign in his DMs. I must say, yeah, I have a girl named Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what song this is? Oh. Ah! Uh, we're going into the salon. I have my laptop. Um, also, look, Jamie Kern Lima's book. <laughs> it's not out yet, you know, me being the avid reader that I am. Uh, I'm just kidding, but I did get an advanced copy because I'm having her on the podcast again. One of my favorite interviews I've ever done. I absolutely like love her and adore her. One of my favorite people in the entire world. So I'm so excited to record again with her, but I need to read the book. So that's just what I'm currently up to. Dom is coming to accompany us, AKA make sure Maddie and I don't fight too much. You know, it's really something when your sister does your hair. Oh, it's her.
happened. My sister has to come over in an hour or so to fi just finish like the layers and stuff. And I chopped off some of my hair. So it's just, you know, it's a new day. I started and finished the Jamie Kern Lima book. Like literally right as my sister was about to finish. And it was so good. I like actually was gonna tear up at multiple parts. It comes out in February, but like it is so good. So I'm blonde now. Like I said, my sister still has to come to finish the cut at my house. We're going to Flower Child right now in Uptown, which is one of my favorite restaurants. It's actually like the cutest Flower Child ever. And I'm gonna order probably the entire menu at this point. Oh, bro, I'm literally, they're gonna be like, eating for four. I'll be like, no, just me. Just two forks, please. <laughs> <laughs> two forks, please. I'm like, don't worry about us. We're actually fine, yeah. Oh, our friend's coming. <laughs> they look at us weird. I'm like, she eats three. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, guys, I'm eating for two. <laughs> yeah, no, you're like, I'm expecting. <laughs> yeah, just fuck off. Leave me alone. Come on, stop. <laughs> like, don't yell at me. Dude, I don't know what has gotten into me, but when I was reading Jamie's book and she was talking about her surrogate and a baby, I'm like, every time a baby is talked about, I like want to cry. Like, I don't know. Like, I've always not, I, that's not true. I've not always been excited to be married, but I feel like I'm like excited to get married one day. And then all of a sudden, I'm like so excited to have a kid, which is so, like, I still don't want to have a kid till I'm like 30. You're a liar. But I don't dude. know. All you talk about is being ready to be married and having a kid. To be married. Kid. Not having, no, because I want to be married for like years before I have a kid. Oh, yeah. yeah now, yeah. but I think I saw those red cowboy boots in the store one day and things just changed for me yeah i don't want to be have a kid until i'm i don't care i'll be the old hag <sighs> i mean i definitely don't i don't i don't know i mean i was always so like i don't want to have a kid till i'm like 30 something and now i'm like i don't know maybe like 28 but i'm 23 now like no, so bright i don't want to have how is that possibly gonna happen dude how you know can Look, you? I cannot even think about, there is not one person on this earth that I would want to be with right now. Like, at all. Yeah, dude, same. So I just like cannot even imagine, I don't know. Okay guys, we made it to Flower Tile. It is just so cute. This is the Uptown location. First things first, I got kombucha. And look at this, it's Texas Blues. I wanted the other one, but this one said Texas on it, so I had to buy it. I got a global with salmon and then mac and cheese on the side. Honestly, I might go back for more food even though I've already spent so much here. I might go back. We're at Val's Cheesecakes, which I've been trying to come here for the longest time. They were closed, obviously, with COVID, and then when I would come, they were, I don't know, it just wasn't open. Anyways, long story short, I'm finally getting Val's, and I love cheesecake, so I'm really excited. It's a black-owned business in Dallas, too, so come support. It's right next to Halcyon. It's on Greenville. Guys, we have our cheesecakes. We'll eat them at home. We're, we have to go home. I'm literally going to watch The Bachelorette and eat this cheesecake. That sounds really incredible. Except for I don't watch Bachelorette. Huh. I need to get on it. Comment below if you guys watch it and if I should watch it or if I shouldn't. I wish I could have a watch party. Like a virtual watch party. You could. How do I do that? Um, guys, how does she do that? <laughs> Back home with the dogs. This cheesecake looks so good. Oh my gosh. It's 4.30 and I'm making another cup of coffee when all I've done is sit at the salon today. Christmas is all about... All right guys, so this actual set is from Revolve and it's really cute, but the pants, you know when you wear like stretchy pants and they just stretch out throughout the day? Like they are fully, fully falling off of me only because, you know, I've been like sitting like all stretched out and whatever today. I would really recommend this set, maybe just size down in these pants. Hey, that is not for you. Nope, it is not. Just changed into cozy clothes. It's 4 p.m. or something. I just need to kind of decompress in my room get some work done, maybe do a Devo or something, and watch some Vlogmas vlogs. I'm wearing my Holly Dolly Christmas sweater. This is so cute. If you guys are shopping small, especially this Christmas, I will have it linked down below. <gasps> hi, hi, she loves me, she loves me, she really does. So, I'm just gonna get cozy. Oh, oh my gosh. 
I don't know about you guys, but something about just the holiday season, not even when I'm like on break, because I'm not really even on break during the holiday season. It's actually the busiest time of the year for me. Something about it just makes me really cozy and all of my like rules of working at a desk and stuff just go out the window. Love my hair. If you guys are in <laughs> Dallas, go to my sister. Again, the cut isn't finished yet, but it will be soon. Look at her. So I have just been watching some Vlogmas vlogs so far today. I'm currently watching Katie, I watched Brooke, I watched Julianne Hunter, but when I watched Jessica Stockstill's video um, showing her husband that she's pregnant and I cried. It literally just like made me sob. It was the most beautiful video ever. I am just so happy for them. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna start editing some stuff right now. Um, I actually kind of like it really choppy. Like at first, I normally don't like that and I want to really texturize, but I'm actually kind of into it. Comment below Vlogmas video request things you want to see in Vlogmas. I have so many ideas and I am like so excited. It is truly, truly about time. Hi, we just took some pictures. They're so cute. Aren't they Fitz? Oh, Coco <laughs> wants to be, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Coco wanted to be on camera really bad. Fits. I cannot get over that sweater. <laughs> hey guys, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just really cozy in my house. Just been watching Christmas stuff. I, I actually kind of like my hair like this. Like we haven't changed the cut and I kind of like it really blunt and normally I don't. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I just wanted to say very quickly um, that I am very, very grateful for you guys. And I've just been thinking at the past few days like, I genuinely look forward to pretty much everything I do like work wise um, I just like love everything that I do and I love you guys and like the community and it just makes me emotional because I feel like I feel like we really are just like so close and you guys have seen me grow up and I've seen a lot of you guys grow up you know we DM a lot and stuff but yeah I'm just really grateful and I love you guys and I know that this is not the best year but I hope that vlogmas like makes you feel good when you watch it. I remember just going through, I remember just going through really hard times in the past 10 years, even now, and just watching certain people's vlogs just brings me so much comfort. And so that's like really honestly the reason I even started a channel. So I hope that my videos can bring you guys some sort of comfort and the anxiety. I'm so sorry for my dogs. They play nonstop, but I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.